What? What's happening? Are we... Have we started? Plainly. Okay. It feels far less passy aggy over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's very true, but I feel like whatever's on here will be filling the passy aggy void. <laughs> Hey boys, uh, sorry I can't be there this afternoon, but I thought to make up for it, I would leave you a fun little activity. So under the cloche is your very favorite cookbook. And I'd like you to cook up the dish on page 93, line 15. Not, ah. oh, okay. <laughs> We're in trouble. What does it say? Kulibiak. Yep, it's from a cuisine we've never done before. It's Russian, it's Kuyabak. You've got everything in the kitchen you should need, and I'll be back at around six o'clock to judge it. Plus, given how much everyone loved the teamwork badge before, nice to see you working together for a change. I thought we should go for teamwork badge number two. Except this time, the community get to decide who is most deserving of that badge. Good luck. Has anybody here heard of a call you back before? Uh, yeah, it's got salmon in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So the reason why we love this book so much is because it's not a recipe book. It's a Headache. set of prehistoric recipes <laughs> that are essentially lists of instruction with no detail. So it'll be like, make a sandwich. It'll be like, get some bread, put some stuff in it, cut it, eat it, and you're expecting to have a specific dish at the very end of it. Then it also describe like the bread. This is how to make the bread. This yeah. is how to make this specific filling. Yeah, you have to then go to the page with Lots the bread to know how to make the bread. Roll some brioche paste into rectangles. Spread in successive layers some cash or pilau rice, collops of salmon, chopped fasigia, mushrooms, quarters of hard boiled egg, onions and chopped parsley. Finish with a layer of cash or pilau rice. Moisten the edges of the paste and join the two rectangles of paste together. Make a slit on top, <laughs> set to rise for 30 minutes and cook in oven. Fill with melted butter when about to serve. The cool your back can be done with puff paste or in small turnover. In my head, I now have a milf whey slash samosa slash fish pie. Oh, and a bit of biryani there as well. It sounds like salmon on croute on rice to me. <laughs> in a Wellington. In a, in a <laughs> brioche loaf. <laughs> what? What? Well, there's no like, there's, there's, there's no... nothing in bold to say there's another recipe on, on, on any given bit there. That's it. That's, that's it. That is it, okay. That, that's it. Teamwork. Oh. Teamwork a level up from the last time okay, we did teamwork. And last time we learned that there needs to be a leader. So I would suggest, let's go and put some aprons on, sort this out, get a notebook, and let's just bang on with it. Someone's just taken the leadership badge. We've got Congratulations. an hour. One hour starting now. Pill our rice. Collops of salmon, we need to figure out what that is. Mushrooms. Quarters of hard boiled eggs, so we need to hard boil an egg. I can do that. Onions and chopped parsley. I assume that you cook the onions? Yeah. Yeah. So brioche paste, it yeah. says at the beginning. Into rectangles. And you bring it together. Triangles. And then at the end, it says it can be done with puff, puff paste. Okay. So, so I like... think that's pastry. Okay. We've got puff pastry. So we don't have to make a brioche. Hallelujah. That's right. good. My question would be, are we making one big one? Or are we making multiple small Oh, well, I, I, I was thinking little small samosa-like things. But it doesn't say multiples. It says one. It's one big It's a Wellington. Triangle. It's a fish pasty. It, it's a fish pasty. He's, made, he's getting, getting us to make pie. a fish pie. Fine. We've delegated jobs and split off into our own responsibilities. I'm dicing onion, sweating it off with some garlic. Barry's working out how to collop some salmon, and Mike is making pilau rice, which he's found an actual recipe for. A collop. A collop is a slice of meat. So it's a slice of salmon. So just dice. I mean, technically, that's a slice. Just collop the salmon. I need to know how much rice to make if we're going to do a layer on the bottom and a layer on the top. I reckon I'm going to get some puff pastry out and create a massive rectangle for that to go on one side and to then fold over. The whole thing. You're gonna cook the whole thing. Whole thing. Shallots frying off in butter. After about five minutes, I'm gonna chuck in the dry rice and fry that rice off in the stuff. Then I'm gonna add water, some stock, whack a lid on it, 
leave it for 10 minutes, take it off the heat, let it steam through, and hopefully we'll have pilaf rice. I'm reading pilaf. You I'm... handed me this and pointed at pilaf and I didn't check your work. I, I thought it was the same thing. <laughs> Why did I leave? I thought it was. This is my, this is my fault. I take responsibility <laughs> for this. Uh, okay. Uh, hey, it's rice. It's cooked, it's cooked delicious rice. I'm going to make use of these shallots. Fry the rice off in here and then just add water in a stock cube. And we've got a halfway between pilau and pirat pilaf. That's fine. Pilaf. Okay, guys, are you happy if I cut this to the size of the tray, then fold it over and I'll try and trim it off so it's one big square? Yeah, I reckon so. Or one so. big rectangle. But while I'm doing this, could you line another tray and then put it in the freezer? Because then yes. we can spread this yes, right yes, on yes, it and yes, it will yes, already yes, be cool. Yes, yes, yes. Onions are sweated down. They can come off the heat. We can chill them. Bit, quick bit of advice. It's yeah. got a stock cube in. No salt. No salt. There's no cooking instructions. That salmon will take at least half an hour to cook. Okay, so we've got to get everything in the oven in 10 minutes. Yeah. Good. This is so vague. I can fish out the burnt bits. Why is the alphabet end, end at K in this book? So, so, so the, the mushrooms and the onions are a different layer? I don't think it matters. But it, that's exactly what the recipe says, so you can't say it doesn't matter. Please, please don't do this. How do you dry out mushrooms whilst they're cooking? Why are you doing it in batches? Did you not see how many mushrooms there were? Why didn't you... What? what? Use a bigger pan! I, <laughs> no one's getting a team worth Who likes paella? <laughs> Who likes the bottom of a paella? If we have packet rice, that might just save No, us. we're better than packet rice. I'm sure... Chopped parsley, as I think that's the final element. Should our pan be preheated so that when we put the pastry on it, it starts cooking from underneath? No, no. Surely we want the pastry to cook from underneath? That's very clever. That's a smart suggestion. No, that's not how you cook pastry. What's the worst that could happen if we did preheat the tray? We can burn the pastry. Preheat the tray. All right. Because then that will go with the delicious burn of the rice. So the moment you put that pastry down, it's going to start cooking? Yes. Because otherwise it won't have the opportunity to cook as much in the hot oven. Pastry isn't the problem, it's the salmon's the problem. Collops pre to that. Let's preheat the salmon. <laughs> preheat the salmon. That rice needs to be in the freezer. I know. Right. Well, I've, I've only just literally put the last spoonful in it. I know. Onions, mushrooms, chilled. Eggs, parsley, ready. Rice, chili. Egg wash, good to go. Pan, preheating. Why? I don't know. Because of the 66-33 vote. <laughs> okay. Right, considering how quick we've got to move. There's a lot of layers and there's a lot of crimping. That's all I'm going to say. There's a lot of us. So we each do a layer Just each. One bit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I like it. I like it. I like, I like so the So think Formula yeah. One, yeah. but yeah, there's yeah, only yeah. three wheels. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. Trotter's independent trader's van. Yeah. And we've you. each got a wheel. Yeah. Fine. Oh, pastry, pastry. Rice first. Rice first. Okay. Excellent. Barry, get ready with the salmon. Okay, Lovely okay, collop okay. of salmon. Collop Fantastic. Collop. Mike, I need you on the mushrooms. Yes. Eggs? On with the eggs. Yes, excellent. Mike, when you finish with the mushrooms, yep. Barry's good with the eggs, you're going in with the onions. Okay. Very nice, Basil. Very, very nice. Parsley. <laughs> Egg wash. Other sides. Put that on top. Drop it on top. This is so wet, mate. Go, you good? Go, Are you good? Go, Are you good? Go, go, go. It's not going to get... Just go, 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 go. Right, and then we're going to have to seal that in quick. Crimp it, crimp it. I'll do this side. Okay. <laughs> it's, oh. <laughs> it's an egg bath. Oh, no. It's an egg bath. <laughs> Open. Teamwork. Open. Yes! Good. It's so heavy. <laughs> it looks impressive. I reckon. We've got slide, slide, just slide it, slide it. Come on, Guinness. Ow. Slide that. Good. And now Start. We're gonna, now and now we're going to get the paper out. Go. Paper towards me. Towards me. Oh, oh what a team. team! Oh, don't push it. Don't it's... push it. Back up again. We need to move into the centre of the board. Spatch. I got too excited with the teamwork. Nice. Good. Yes. <laughs> okay. Is that what it's supposed to be? Uh, it's a pillow with a hole in it. Yeah, nice. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's not weird, is it at all?
Okay, Evers. Whoa. I'm excited Ooh, for this. Look what, what you made where, us do. Where have you been? Somewhere very special. <laughs> it's it's rare that I get to... Day date. <laughs> <laughs> Matinee. <laughs> It's rare that I get to judge something that I haven't seen any process of. It's yeah. rare that we get to cook something that we have no idea what it is. No, that's every day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, OK. Oh, oh, so, no, then. <laughs> I mean, do you know what? Yes. If the ingredients in there are what I expect, then it's something wrapped in puff pastry in a kind of parcel-like form. I've seen a lot more neater versions. Oh. But think, think welly meets kind yeah, of yeah. like... Salmon on crew. Salmon on crew. Salmon on crew, yeah. yeah. Meets biryani. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to see some photos of what I had in mind? Oh, yeah. no. Not really. Oh. Boys, I tell you what, that's not far off. I mean, we haven't seen the cross section. Oh, Ooh, a lattice. Ooh, no chance. Do you know what? When, I mean, it's not any of those, but it's structurally the same thing. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, it's got a soggy, buttery bottom. Successive layers. You protected the salmon with that rice, egg, mushroom, puffed and crispy and golden on top. A little foggy on the bottom. Where did the rice on the bottom go? It's there. And a bit like the crepe in a beef welly, it should absorb a lot of the moisture from the mushroom and the fish as it, as it cooks. I feel like it provided a lot of the moisture. <laughs> Do you know what? This is a classic dinner party fave because you can do the whole thing way in advance up until the point of baking it. As long as it's all cooked inside and cooled, whack it in the fridge and then you can bake it off just before uh, you want main course and it's impressive, right? So you've got some pink diamond vodka there. It's also got yeah, bits of Siberia in it. <laughs> Cheers. 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 What I like about this dish, if it's done well, is that it tastes of what you expect it to taste of. So you've got the herbiness, you've got the salmon, which is still punching on salmon. It's got buttery pastry, but there's kind of no additional spice or anything to play around with. It's just well-seasoned individual elements wrapped in puff pastry. It's actually really nice. It's gorgeous. I'd go a bit smaller on the eggs. If you get a whole egg, it's quite big. The salmon is perfectly cooked. It's flaking, it's, it's not drying out, it's not become chewy, it's just wonderful. Individual grains of rice that are cooked through, well seasoned. I'd have liked the herbs a bit smaller, if I'm being super picky, because occasionally you get a bit of parsley stuck in your teeth. And the egg, maybe a minute less on the yolk. But the pastry and the parceling, very, very good. The only thing you could perhaps have done was trimmed it so there wasn't quite so much pastry without filling. The best bit about that whole description was that every bit of criticism you had <laughs> was Barry's job. <laughs> are you enjoying the pilaf rice? <clears throat> the rice is good. I was going to say, individual grains and cooked to the point where it then absorbs all the rest of the flavours. So it doesn't become stodgy. It's just really lovely. Ebbers, we can't decide whether we deserve a teamwork badge. You definitely can't decide because you weren't here. So it must be up to you. Do we deserve a teamwork badge or do we not? Head over to our Instagram. There is a story and there is a poll in that story. Vote yes or no. And give this video a like if you think I should have more days off. Uh, suggest <laughs> yeah. things I can get up to in London and then come back for dinner. So how did it go? Was it all right? Was it success or...? It's great. Well, you're here, which means it didn't go that well. Didn't go that well. Yeah. He's drinking that quite quickly. <laughs> <laughs> we have an app. It's called Meal Packs and helps you plan and then cook a week's worth of meals using one set of ingredients, saving you money, cutting down on food waste and answering the age-old question, what should we have for dinner? It's free to try for a whole month. The link is in the description box below. I don't understand this. How does this thing work? Because oh, it's a book, so it's got words. Yeah, it's, in not, it. it's not alphabetical because <laughs> the alphabet ends at L in this book. 